Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a simple rig for a door. Here, I have already created this door model and I have made this connection. This is my uh, controller of this door and I can control through this empty object. Now, <coughs> This is the thing that I'm going to create. It's very easy and very simple in Blender. It's uh, and let's see how to do it. So I'm just deleting this one. Okay. So now <clears throat> for creating that control, uh, first you have to add an empty object. Let's play the axis. Move it to this side put it up okay so now I have to use some constraint now if you go to the constraint menu and within the list uh, I'd recommend the lock track constraint for this specific uh, uh, setup you can use the track to also but I found that a track to has a certain uh, limitation or maybe you know a certain extra thing which I really don't want so I will uh, stick to the uh, lock track now I will show you first I will show you the lock track uh, constraint then I will go my, uh, go to the uh, I will also show you that why we should not use to the track too okay so select the door and go to lock track okay now my target object will be <coughs> the empty now before empty I would like to tell you one thing uh, that you need to understand how this particular constraint actually works now target is the object which will be the parent or maybe the controller and the locked uh, axis will be the axis which I want to lock in this case Z axis so by default it's in Z so I don't have to change it now the two option is very important and you need to understand this one now this particular constraint is actually work on a local axis so according to the local axis if I change this from global to local whereas both of these things are same now I want my doors which axis should be aimed towards the controller that means which axis direction of my door will going to look at to my controller this is very important now I want this object is right now is not connected so that means this is uh, you know primary uh, situation or primary uh, axis position so according to this particular scenario I want my negative X axis which is the which is already there so negative X axis to look at towards the controller so I will choose the negative X from here and now I can choose the empty from my target list you will see nothing changed because I have already told the my object my constraint where to look at so now if you see you can easily you know rotate this particular door it's done so that's it but now let's talk about uh, make sh make 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 this particular uh, uh, constraint a little more clear now what happened if I put Y so that you can use apart from you can use this constraint apart from this kind of a setup so if I hit Y see this axis very clearly what happened to this axis immediately my door my doors y axis a positive y axis we're going to look at the the parent object or the target object so I don't want that I want that uh, my negative X will be looking at towards that so that's why that is the logic behind this particular constraint now I just uh, turn this off eyes off because I'm just disabling this uh, particular constraint and I would like to show you why not track 2 should be used over here same up axis will be Y here is no such thing called locking now 
minus x that's fine now go to the uh, target and say empty now if you see it is also working pretty fine but there is a small problem if I put up it will also you know start following it which I really don't want so to control that I might have to add something else like you know limit rotation or or you know uh, 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 limit yeah we can use limit rotation or maybe a transformation or something like that to you know uh, scrub down that uh, free movement so that is the reason I I, I would not recommend uh, to use a track to rather than that you can use a lock track constraint so I can simply delete this and that's it. So this is a perfect way to create the hinge joint for a door. Hope you uh, enjoy it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on YouTube and Twitter. Thank you very much.